We start our chapel today in the name of our triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gotta wash, 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 wash those hands a lot. Doodle doot, doodle doot. Gotta wash, 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 wash them on the spot. It is plain to see. No germs on you, no germs on me, because we wash, wash, wash our hands a lot. All right, let's sing Child of God. Do you think, oh, let's, let's just review the last parts, the last two verses, okay? Um... If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going, where I'm going, if anybody asks you where I'm going, say that I'm going to heaven. Say that last part with me. Say that I'm going to heaven. Then the last verse, if anybody asks you, who's my friend, who's my friend, who's my friend? If anybody asks you, who's my friend? Say that Jesus is his name. Can you say that with me? Say that Jesus is his name. Let's just do the last two verses, okay? We'll do those twice, just so we remember it all. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going, where I'm going. If anybody asks you where I'm going, say that I'm going to have. If anybody asks you who's my friend, who's my friend, who's my friend. If anybody asks you who's my friend, say that Jesus is his name. Let's do it again. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going, where I'm going. If anybody asks you where I'm going, say that I'm going to have. If anybody asks you who's my friend, who's my friend, who's my friend. If anybody asks you who's my friend, say that Jesus is his name. Let's do the whole song. If anybody asks you who I am, who I am, who I am. If anybody asks you who I am, say that I'm a child of God. If anybody asks you how I am, how I am, how I am. If anybody asks you how I am, say that I'm alive and free. If anybody asks you what that means, what that means, what that means. If anybody asks you what that means, say that I was born again. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going, where I'm going. If anybody asks you where I'm going, say that I'm going to have. If anybody asks you who's my friend, who's my friend, who's my friend. If anybody asks you who's my friend, say that Jesus is his name. All right, good. We, you have learned that song. You sing it very, very well. Well done. I've got a portion of God's word to share with you today. God's word to us is the Bible. And Jesus has been talking about Nicodem or talking to Nicodemus about how to get to heaven. And Nicodemus just cannot understand it. In John chapter 3, verses 6 through 8, Jesus says, Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, You must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Well, we said yesterday that we're born again by baptism. 
We're born again by, by the water of baptism, but it's not just water. Nope. When we baptize somebody and use that word of God, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in that water. He's with that water, working through the word. And so when that little baby gets baptized, the Holy Spirit creates faith in their heart. And, and Nicodemus just doesn't understand this. And Jesus, he tries to summarize it. He says, look, mommies give birth to babies. Flesh gives birth to flesh. We get our physical life from our mommies and daddies, okay? But the Spirit gives birth to spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us spiritual life, just like our mommy gives us life, and then we're born and we have life. So the Holy Spirit creates faith, creates that spirit of a child of God within us. And, and Jesus could tell Nicodemus just was not getting it at all. And he says, well, look at the wind. Well, think about the wind, because you can't look at the wind, but, but you can hear the wind. You might, you might hear the, the wind, you can, you, can, you can feel the wind coming. Strong wind. But you don't know where that wind came from. You don't know where that wind started. You don't know where that wind's going to end. But it's there. You can hear the wind. You can feel the wind. Maybe it'll be windy pretty soon. Because sometimes in the fall it gets pretty windy. And all the leaves blow off the trees and they blow around. And it's kind of like like around Halloween, it sometimes gets windy and kind of gets spooky, but that's for another time. Um, the wind, you feel the wind, you hear the wind, but you don't know where it started. You don't know where it's going. That doesn't mean the wind doesn't exist just because you don't understand it. And so Nicodemus, that's, that's the way it is with the Spirit. Um, you can see what the Spirit does. The Spirit gives faith through the water and the Word. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born again of water and the Spirit. You can see that even though you can't understand it. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There's, there's lots of things that we can't see, but they still exist, but, but don't tell that to the devil. He doesn't want us to believe in anything we cannot see. He tries to come up to us and say, well, you can't see God, so why believe in him? Or you can't see heaven, it's not even on a map. So why think about going to heaven? You can't see forgiveness, so why bother forgiving? The devil only wants us to believe what we can see. But that is so foolish, because even in this world, there's so many things that we can't see, and yet we rely on them. I can't see electricity. I rely on that. I can't see my words. Can you see them? Can you see words coming out of my mouth? Apple, bacon, cheeseburger, double, sesame seed bun. No! You can hear words, but you can't see them. That doesn't mean words don't exist. Mommy's love for you. How much daddy is so proud of you. You can't see that with your eyes. But it's there. You know it's there. All right, and you know mommy loves you so much. Daddy's so proud of you. And the same way with Jesus. Jesus is always there, even though we can't see him. Jesus always loves us, and his love is real. 
even though we can't see it. And his forgiveness, we can feel it when we're forgiven. We feel so much better, especially after we've been really bad. And we think nobody will like us anymore. And then Jesus forgives us and other people forgive us. And then we realize that, that there's lots of people who love us, especially Jesus. And, and we know that there's a heaven, even though we cannot see it, because Jesus told us. But Nicodemus, it's like he was wearing sunglasses at night and couldn't see what Jesus was telling him. Couldn't see that God wanted him to go to heaven. Couldn't see his best friend, Jesus. But we don't wear sunglasses at night. We know where we're going. Say that I'm going to heaven. We know who our friend is. Say that Jesus is his name because we have been born of water and the Spirit. Let's sing, um, we love to come to God's house. Let's do it as a song fight, okay? The boys will do the first part, then the girls. But that, that first, first part, we all sing together. Here we go. We love to come to God's house. Boys, we love to come to God's house. Girls, we love to come to God's house and learn of Jesus. Love everybody. We put on smiles at God's house. Boys, we put on smiles at God's house. Girls, we put on smiles at God's house. Everybody, and learn of Jesus. Love. We clap our hands at God's house. Boys, girls, everybody and learn of Jesus love we pray and sing at God's house boys girls and learn of Jesus love everybody we love to come to God's house we love to come to God's house we love to come to God's house and learn of Jesus love well I'm afraid the girls probably sang a little louder today. I know, just a little bit. I think there was just one class. I think it was, I think it was Mrs. Heine's class, the four-year-old, the, the girls in the fourth, four-year-old class, they were singing really, really loud, and that's what tipped the scale. So, so tomorrow, boys, you're going to have one more chance, all right? So, but now let's pray. It's time for prayer. So let's fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes. You think about the words I'm saying. That makes my prayer your prayer. When I say amen, you can say amen. Here we go. Lord Jesus, it is so much fun being at school and having such good friends in our classroom. Even though we can't mix with the other children, it, it's great to have the whole playground to our class. And help us, help us, Lord Jesus, to be friends with everybody in our class. Help us make sure that everybody gets involved in the games that we play. And so everybody knows that we love them very, very much, just like you love every one of us. We ask this for your name's sake. Amen. I want to say goodbye to you the way the Lord wants me to say goodbye to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Listen to the music while you get your class back together again.